Alright everyone, welcome back to another Mix vs. ATV Legends video. I actually was just editing another video. Wasn't even planning on making this, but I looked over and I saw my Steam updating. And I was like, what is this? And apparently, there is some sliding fixes. Less tra- Oh yeah! Oh yeah, dude, there is a lot more traction. So I just really wanted to come in here and test this out. And see- Yeah, I was just looking through the patch notes. They're doing a ton of stuff. They fixed 125 sounds. They changed it, I guess they said they changed the 125 sounds. Before so before this video is over, gonna have to hop on that thing and see how it sounds but we're on one of my favorite tracks right now of the game i've really been enjoying this track i think it's called big west or something super fun but i can definitely tell a traction difference dude i have a lot more traction and i just got off a reflex so game feels a little bit weird but dude yeah this is definitely let me hit a corner real quick because i i, I haven't even done a full lap with it yet so i want to i want to like actually try it out before i start saying stuff here so let me but it feels like a huge step in the right direction, dude. This feels a lot better. Like, I feel like I can... Oh, yeah, this feels a lot better besides me being cheeks and going over the berm, you know. It does. It feels a lot better, dude. Okay, wow. Good job, MX versus ATB. That, that feels really good. Let's try to hit this corner. Yeah, look at that. You, like, grip up. Dude, that's so much better. Oh, that feels amazing! Wow, that feels so much better! Alright, that's that's a good, that is a huge plus to them. I was even starting to enjoy the game with the sliding, so this wasn't a make or break for me. But, dang, that feels pretty dang good. We're gonna hop on the 125 real quick, you guys, because I want to see the new sound changes, and, yeah, I just want to see how it sounds. Alright, you guys, just got back in the lobby. I really want to hop on this 125 and see how the new improved sound is. Let's hear it. Is that different from before? Improved. Hold on. Maybe the revving out sound. There we go. That's that's a lot better. It was kind of hard to tell back on the 125 at first if you were revving out because it kind of went silent when you were revving out. But now listen. It makes a revving out noise. That is a good... That's one thing I said that should be fixed. That is super good. Props. Mad props to them, dude, for listening. Honestly, though, they have improved it a lot just with this update. Um... If you guys have been wondering, debating on if you should get it or not, I, I've been having a ton of fun with it. You know, you can't really go wrong. Don't buy it if you expect it to be a simulator, though. It's just a game to have some fun on. But huge improvements so far, dude. The cornering feels so much better. You guys need to go check it out if you haven't played yet. And, yeah, it's just sick, dude. I just wanted to hit this house jump real quick, see where it goes, because I didn't see a landing or anything. But, yeah, major improvements. Good job, MX vs. ATV. I wanted to come here and make this video real quick, seeing how it felt. And yeah, dude, it feels a lot better. I want to take this 125 on the track real quick and uh, test it out, get a little bit more track feeling in because I just want to see how it feels a little bit more. We'll go back on Big West with this 125 and check it out here. Yep, 125 two-stroke. All right, guys, we are in the track here on Big West, bro. We're going to see how the 125 feels on here. The 125 slid quite a bit last time I tried it, but we're going to see how it feels on here. Yeah, look it up. Dude, it grips up so good. Maybe a little too good? No, no, not too good. What am I saying? But yeah, it grips up so good, dude. Um, It kind of makes the bike feel a little stiffer coming off the... F I'm just saying it feels a little bit stiffer on the ground because it's gripping up a lot better. But overall, dude, huge plus, dude. It feels so much better in the corners now. Like, let's go through this inside. Dang, bro, that grips up so much better. And then I loop out. But <laughs> that that's a huge plus, dude. This is so much better. Wow, I didn't think they were actually gonna improve it. I'm not I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think they were gonna do anything, but huge plus they actually did it. Wow. This is sick, dude. Okay, I'm actually so bad at this game, I do apologize. Um but yeah, dude, shout out to the MX for CTV. This is sick. Yeah, this game actually feels pretty solid now, I'm not gonna lie, like not uh, the only complaint I had about the game before was the sliding. That's the only thing I really disliked, and now I mean, it's not the best MX vs. ATV game ever, but it ain't bad by any means. Like, look at... Oh, dude, you can actually, like, rail pretty dang hard now. You can, I mean, you can rail hard before, but this is so much better. Wow, you guys definitely need to go check this, um... Go check out this new update if you haven't played it already. This is so much better. Alright, so I kind of want to rip it up, you guys, on this 125 here. Try to rip it up here and just... Try to get a little bit better of the game for a second here. But... Yeah, the, the traction is so much better. It, it's it's insane. It's a whole night and day difference. It's like you have probably at least double the traction. Look at that. 
I probably, if it was back before, I probably would have just flew over that corner trying to go into it like that. But, yeah, no. It doesn't have too much traction either. You can still power slide around stuff. Like, check this out. I'll go around this and I'll try to slide. Hold on here. Let me get through this corner. I want to go to a flatter one here. But, dude, did you guys see how I hit that rut? There, it's a lot easier now to hit stuff without just losing all your traction. All right, check this out. You can still... See that? You can still slide and stuff, so it's not too much traction or anything. You uh, can still power slide. But it's like a good amount of traction to where if you're hitting something good, like, it feels good. You know what I mean? Huge improvements. I'm going to try to rip through this section down here if I can stay on the track, bro. Jeez, I'm sketch at this game. Yeah, see? Oh, dude, yeah, it feels so much better. You can come into the corners a lot, like, and you can still uh, slide the background like I just did there. So it still feels really good. You can still do some power slide in action. See? You can still power slide this. Oh, that feels so good, dude. Don't go off the track, please. Oh, we messed up a little bit there. But yeah, solid, dude. Even the 450s I was on earlier in this video still have a ton of grip as well. Um, it feels about, grip's about same for all the bikes. Keep in mind, I do have the tires upgraded on both these bikes to level 3. So I, I know that plays a lot of a role because when I had the level 1 tires, I went from 3 back on the old update. It made a big difference. So I don't know if you guys don't run 3 what it's going to feel like. But running level 3 tires is feeling pretty good right now. Like a lot more traction, dude. Pretty dang solid if I had to say so myself. Man, this track is so fun. I love coming on this track. Let's hit this inside. Dang, dude. Like, see, we still slid out there. So there's not too much traction. I mean, I don't think there's too much traction. Maybe in some spots it could feel like a bit much. But overall... I mean, I think it was a good good move. I think it was a good move. Because you can still slide out and mess up, um, but you can also uh, hit the corners a lot better now without kind of having that inconsistency, you know what I mean? About like, oh, am I going to just slide a ton for no reason this time or something? But yeah, it kind of has more consistency to it, which I think is a pretty good move on their part. But yeah, this track is fun, man. I don't know why. Something about it. I think it's because it has these big bowl corners. You can just send it into a wide open bed and just be like, I don't even give a shit. I'm just going to pin it and hope for the best. Alright. Fourth gear tapped. Look at that, dude. See how much... You guys can definitely tell just from the video how much better that grips. That is so much better. I bet you if I were to try to hit that corner fourth tapped on the 125 back before the old... Uh, before this update, we'd be in the grandstands right now. Thank you guys for tuning in this video. I just wanted to make a quick update and see how this really felt. Push this video out. Get it out ASAP while the update's fresh because I want you guys to see what I think. And yeah, big plus, dude. Feels so much better. Um... If you guys picked up the game or something and didn't like it before and you're like, ah, not ever playing this again and you still have it, go go play it again. Give it another shot. This feels a lot better. Like, dude, it feels, it actually is really fun on motocross and supercross tracks. You can lay into it. Oh, dude, this is fun. I'm, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the new update down below. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. I personally think it's a big plus. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking out and seeing what I had to say. Really means a lot. You guys took the time to come click on it and see what I had to say. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day.